Hello friends and family from around the world, this is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide, and we are on November 17th, 2020, and welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the Daily Dew, where we look at space weather, extreme weather, earthquakes from around the world. Starting out here looking at space weather as, as I've been talking about possible backside action, and it looks like there was a backside eruption here showing a full coronosphere ejection so this is Lasco 2 image looking at the Sun and that is all plasma and cosmic charge particles coming at us right now that is a large backside eruption that incoming sunspot that I've been eyeing up over the last couple days was connected to something on the backside and you can see the antipode of it is very active and that's right in front of us here looking at 511 angstroms. You can see the magnetic field of our sun is very active in this region here. From that one sunspot there, connecting to something in the northern region. And as well looking at some very active sunspots that are going to be leaving us as well. So our sun has come to life over the last couple days. Looking here at 304 angstroms, you can see the large plasma filament in the northern hemisphere rip away there. Almost looks as if there is a full halo across the northern hemisphere of the sun. What is our sun up to? And that's why I put that question mark in the video the other day. Gotta really wonder what's next for solar cycle 25 looking here at the last 24 hours incoming images and don't forget to hit that like button subscribe share with your friends and family from around the world looking here outgoing there's that plasma filament again pretty sizable one at that A little earth to scale black and white image here so it's not so bright on your eyes you can really see the magnetic field at work again I want to thank everybody for joining this channel and as well joining the live streams much love to y'all I appreciate your support and your loyalty to my research and my work with this channel a lot of production goes into these videos a lot of time with my research as well. Let's have a look at the real time solar wind as we are still very low, under 300 kilometers per second. This is the last seven days. You can see in the last 48 hours there was a small increase in density, but has since leveled off again. Looking here, Schumann resonance for today, power of 11. A hum across the planet right now and across Central America, it's a buzz. Look at the most recent earthquakes this is the last 24 hours and most recent here in China, a 4.3 Shahizi, China, and as well a 4.8 here in Tajikistan. 4.3 in Iran northward here to Turkey with a 4.5 and as well Greece with a 4.4 I'd like to pronounce that one but I just don't have time <laughs> have a look here at 
the still swarming in Puerto Rico. And as well, the very active Central America right under Hurricane Ita, 4.3 there, Guatemala, 4.3 Mexico, and as well, 4.1 Mexico, the Riviera Plate. So a lot of pressure across the Caribbean Plate right now. And it seems to be moving northward into the North American Plate. Most notable here, 3.4 Stanley, Idaho, as well, 3.5 Morongo Valley, California, and Ludlow, California with 3.5. So busy day across California, North American Plate as well reporting here, 4.4 Canada, Norman Wells, Canada, 4.4, pretty remote area. Throughout Alaska, still minor rumbles. Most notable here, 4.3 Bikolskoy. And as well, Japan are rocking today, 4.7 Japan, 4.7 Volcano Islands region, as well, 4.6 Japan region, and 4.8 Northern Mariana Islands. So the trench straight up into Japan, very active today. The depth is not too bad. Largest earthquake the last 24 hours, 5.9 here in Padang, Indonesia, at a 10 kilometer depth. As well, 4.3 there, Indonesia. And a very, this is a very active plate as well. Krakatoa showing unrest today. Looking here at the deepest earthquake the last 24 hours, Fiji, 4.3, 580 kilometers in depth and that was early this morning and pretty much right after that 5.9 rang out Indonesia. Vanuatu here 4.8 and a 5.1 as well 4.9 here East Pacific rise and the one lonely earthquake South American plate last 24 hours 4.1 Chile. So yes the last seven days has been very busy but across the west Pacific Ring of Fire, Northwest Pacific, quiet, and as well, Cascades, quiet. Indian Plate has been rocking recently. African Plate is quiet. South America, very active. Central America, very active. Down into the Antarctic Plate. And then we look at our quiet zone here in North America. Small release there with the 4.4 Norman Wells, Canada. Stay aware, prepared, have a plan, be ready. Looking here at the Pacific Disaster app, everybody can get this app and get alerted as things happen. But we're looking at quite a situation across Central America and as well uh, Indonesia, the Philippines, heavy rains, floods, but an intense situation across Guatemala, Honduras as tropical storms. Hurricane Ita came across as a Category 5, already causing landslides across the region. And you've got two very active volcanoes there. Santa Maria just popped up recently. Fuego was very busy. But landslides reported. Colombia as well, Guatemala. Let's have a look at the most recent volcanoes being updated. White Island, Kluchevskoy, Reventador, Semeru, Seven Kaya, Popo, Dokono, and Swiss and Ajima, Fuego, Sange, and as well, last but not least, at the Santa Maria, Guatemala just recently came to life yet again. So that is about 14 volcanoes the last 24 hours that have been actively erupting. And if you want to know more about all of the volcanoes that are erupting around the world, have a look at this video right here. Meteo Earth, brought to you by Meteo Earth and Meteo Mike, five day forecast. Starting out here at Calgary, Alberta, as cold temperatures will be moving in tomorrow. We had our last rise of temperatures here, this little roller coaster the last week in Calgary. But watch as the system penetrates the coastline and moves northward and spreads a small low moving eastward, Alberta Clipper. To bring light snow to Calgary that looks like this storm will just miss north of Calgary so most likely Red Deer up into Edmonton will be seeing at least a foot of snow 
high pressure ridge moving southward bringing cool temperatures to ontario with a little help from that alberta clipper you're welcome <laughs> my ontario friends and family cold temperatures are coming nonetheless big siberian high pressure ridge moving in and as well we've got that locked and loaded low pressure system over the pacific that is going to be bringing in some intense systems and rain and heavy amounts of snow and just look at this five-day forecast for the pacific as believe it or not that's typhoon bank vamco from the philippines last week that is now heading back into the pacific ocean and we'll be riding the atmospheric river to the bc coastline in the five-day forecast and that's not the first time that's happened folks i believe it was vong fong typhoon last year but it wasn't until january so stay aware and prepared things are changing drastically across our planet and those cold temperatures are moving in across canada and maybe even to the bc coastline there could get quite a bit of snow over the next little while overlooking eastern canada not much to talk about now as the cold temperatures are moving in already seeing snow flurries in ontario overlooking europe here low pressure system to affect the united kingdom as we speak and then move eastward into finland and parts of eastern europe and mix with all those low pressure systems over russia and then later in the week another low will do the same thing follow the same track overlooking the mediterranean there will be a low developing later in the week coming out of egypt most likely will bring some flooding conditions across iran iraq up into kuwait and eastward to pakistan overlooking africa not much to talk about except the daily evaporation rains cooler temperatures hanging around south africa and a little bit of relief for thailand parts of southeast asia as the rain has moved out and there's some dry air moving in but the philippines now are looking at heavy rains and up into eat or westward into indonesia and watch for possible cyclones to develop later in the week and watch as they travel just the, the way they shouldn't watching cyclones from the indian ocean that will travel into the arctic and we watch our hurricanes from the atlantic head to greenland this is very strange guys overlooking south america watch for extreme weather events to continue for the next three days heavy rains and storms and probably extensive hail as well parts of panama central america colombia guatemala honduras all across central america's thoughts and prayers to everybody that was affected by hurricane ita most likely we'll have another tropical storm forming and we'll see where the remnants of tropical storm ita goes from here i hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did please smash that like button don't forget to share with your friends and family from around the world as morning dew is here for you keeping humanity aware and prepared to the ever going changes on our planet thanks for watching today stay young and have fun and get your morning dew bye bye and don't forget to check out dailyeventsworldwide.com where you can get all the latest news and events and share your photos and videos If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.